Hello my fellow humans, it's Matt from the Fat Matt Adventures channel. Today I'm going to show you how I installed my Propane Quick Connect to my RV. Let's go! Beautiful. The very first thing you want to do whenever you're working on your propane system on your RV is turn the bottle off. All right, the second step is you want to make sure and get rid of all uh, residual propane that might be in the gas lines after you turn the propane tank off. And you can do that just by turning on your stove, lighting it, and just letting it run out. And of course, when you do that, anytime you're cooking in the uh, camper, you always want to make sure and vent really well, you know, so you can get some good airflow through there. And there you go. All right. So I'm gonna install mine right underneath the regulator. Now the next step is to disconnect this line from the regulator and the camper. Now, I always recommend disconnecting it from down here first. The reason why is because this little connector here will twist while it's on the hose. And up here on this one, it doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one down here first with a crescent wrench. Usually these are not very tight. Once you get it to a certain point, you can just disconnect with your hand. And then, again, the reason I did that is because when I twist this one up here, the entire hose can twist and it won't turn into a jumbled mess. There we go, got it. Okay, next step. I bought a couple of these here for my specific installation purposes. And this T right here is 3 eighths on the top and bottom, and it's a quarter inch on this side. And then I bought a three inch coupler here, and the hose is gonna go into here. So let me show you how to install that next. Hopefully you guys can see the end of the hose that goes to the regulator here. First thing I wanna do is I want to install this coupler, 3 eighths to 3 eighths. Now the first thing I like to do is just put one layer of gas tape. This is real similar to uh, plumber's tape, but just one layer of gas tape on here. Get a clean one. Just one layer. You don't want it bundling up when you start screwing this stuff in here, so there's one layer of gas tape on the hose. And now we're going to just put our coupler on here. I'm going to screw this in nice and snug. I've got an 18 millimeter wrench here and then I'm just going to use a crescent wrench for the top piece to get it nice and snug. Doesn't have to be crazy tight, just snug. There we go, that should do it. And then the next thing that we're going to do is install this T fix, uh, junction here, T connector but I'm gonna put one layer of gas tape on these threads as well first. And again, just one layer, you don't want it too thick. There we go, perfect. And now we're gonna screw this in into that coupler all the way down and again you want this nice and snug I'm just gonna take a wrench here and turn it just to get it snug okay that's plenty good okay now it's time to put this back in the regulator all right so the way I'm gonna do that is uh, I, I did have to buy one more PC part. The reason for that is, is if I were to screw this T uh, connector straight into the regulator, this little piece that sticks out the side is going to hit part of the metal here. So I had to buy a little extension. It's just a 3 8 to 3 8 extension. And it's uh, female to male. And it just provides that added distance I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna screw that onto the top of this T connector. And uh, then we'll put that up into the regulator. So let's go ahead and put some more gas tape on the end of this little extender. 
Again, we're just gonna do one layer, maybe two. We just don't want it very thick so it doesn't jumble up in there. All right. Good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this piece into the regulator here. Get that nice and snug first. And I'm going to use my crescent wrench for that. And everything's in the way, but that's all right. Again, we're just gonna get nice and snug. And this is not, the regulator is not mounted really, really well on some of these campers, so just be real careful. Sometimes you just gotta grab it and hold it in place while you're twisting this. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now we've got plenty of room to put this uh, T-connector in the bottom of the regulator. So I'm gonna put some more gas tape on these threads here on the uh, T-connector. Just one layer, maybe one and a half the bottom end of the hose down there so I can twist the hose and I've got plenty of room here to screw this in without this T-connector actually touching the trailer. So I'm just going to twist it in there and once it's in there kind of snug I'll grab a wrench and we'll tighten it up. Okay. So I want to twist this around so it's facing my direction so I can get ready for the, the quick connect. Almost there. Okay. Now we're ready to go. Let me show you that. All right, so you see the regulator. Got the hose that's coming out of the propane tank into the top of the regulator. And then down here at the bottom, we've got our new T connector. And now it's time to install the propane quick connect. All right, so here is the quick connect. It's got an on off valve here. And again, this is very similar to an air compressor hose. And it just allows you to connect things into your propane system very, very quickly without having to unscrew anything. So this is the next piece of the puzzle. And we're gonna screw that onto this T-valve. We're gonna put on a piece of gas tape around these threads. Maybe I should have done that earlier, but that's okay, we can get it to fit. It's just an extra layer of protection against leaking. And I know I went around that a couple of times, but that's okay, it'll screw on just fine. Okay, so now we're gonna screw this to here. Just gonna hand tighten it. And then I'm gonna use my wrench, my crescent wrench. Let's see if this 18 millimeter wrench will fit. Yeah, it does. So we're just gonna screw this piece on. Let's see if I can get another rotation out of it. I want the valve facing forward. It's getting really snug, so right there. So now I've got my on and off valve very easily accessible. And that's it. All right, okay now, whenever I want to connect, say for example, uh, an ex like a barbecue grill that is propane fed, I can just set it next to the camper and I'll connect this piece, which came with the kit, to the hose for the propane grill. And then when I want to plug this in, by the way, this is in the off position. I'll leave that in the off position unless I'm using this. But when I want to connect the barbecue grill to it, the hose will be attached to this piece. And then you just slide this back like an air compressor, push that in, and there you go. And then you turn it on, and then you've got propane being fed through this hose. And that's it. See how easy that is? It's so much easier than having to unscrew all of the components or having to bring extra propane tanks for your grill, things like that. It just makes life a lot easier. Okay, last step. We've got to connect this hose back to the main camper. All right, small spaces to work in. And a few 
feed that back through the tie strap, the zip tie. Right there. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put some gas tape on this here too. Let's see if I can get in here. Camera's in my way. There we go. So now we're gonna put this back on the main camper here. Main camper line. And again, we don't have to be too tight, just nice and snug. And that's all it took, about a quarter turn. All right, we are good to go. All right, folks, that's it. Very, very simple. My only recommendation, pro tip, don't do it when it's, when it's a thousand degrees outside. It's really hot. So I've got my quick connect here for the camper. So I can plug in my, my uh, gas stove whenever I want to and cook outside. Very, very easy. So the, the only thing I'd recommend is to take yourself a squirt bottle with some soapy water in it, turn the propane system on, and squirt the spray all around the connections that we just did. And you'll see bubbles if there's any leaking. Um, I plan on doing that here in a few minutes, but I'm not gonna worry about showing that to you. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to install the propane quick connect and uh, can't wait to start using it. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.